All right, so now that we've got the server side of our application routes figured out, now we're back at CloudScrape and we're at the execution results. So these are the results that we want in our fighter app. So to get started, what we're gonna do is we're going to click the API tab over here. And this is the introduction panel and it gives us a lot of really important information. The first is the API endpoint. This is something that we're gonna use on the server. And then it gives us your account ID and this access key, which is an MD5 hash of your account ID and your API key. So the first, let's jump to Sublime and start coding. We're going to create a couple of variables. The first one is going to be account ID. And it's gonna be a string. Let's go copy this from CloudScrape. There's our account ID. So we are going to copy and paste into this variable. The next variable that we are going to need is the access key, or we'll do API key. And that is something that we need to go and generate now. So we'll jump back to CloudScrape. And where it says access key, there's going to be this, you can configure your API keys by clicking here. Go ahead and click here. And this is a generated key already. So it's going to be blank. We're gonna add an API key. We're gonna name it fighter app key. And this is gonna be the ID. So go ahead and copy this ID, save keys. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste this into the variable API key. Now what we need to do is we need to get the access key. And let's go ahead and go to CloudScrape and take a look at that access key again. So the access key is an MD5 hash of account ID plus API key. So the first thing we need to do in our node server is npm install MP error, MD5 hash. So we're gonna say npm install MD5. And then we're gonna save it. So let, let this install. All right, now MD5 is installed. Let's jump back to Sublime and we need to, let's see, require MD5. So var MD5 equals require and we just want MD5. So now what we need to do is create that access key. And to do that, we need to, actually this is gonna be, equals and then we're going to run our md5 hash and then we'll use account id and add the api key perfect so now let's well let's go ahead and log the access key to make sure it's working and log the access key so let's Let's make sure we're in the right folder. M NPM start. And now when we go to localhost colon 3000, get fighter. This should have perfect. This is going to be our access key. Just log that. So let's go ahead and remove this log and remove this okay in the next video now that we've got our access key and our key set up we're going to actually use node to make the request um, so stay tuned for next time and we'll actually get the data